Participatory budgeting does sound like a very complicated system process, but actually it's all about people deciding for themselves how they want money to be spent in their community. So it's a real opportunity for different groups to get together, working with the police, working with partners such as the council and housing, to ensure that money is spent on what the community actually need. We're asking people to come to the event who are all local residents of the Longsight Ward. It's the community are deciding where they want the money to go. We've been very lucky and managed to get a pot of money. We've got a very healthy budget of £30,000 and we're very, very fortunate that we've got 26 bids for today's event. I'm here pitching um, to run a project in Longsight. I run um, an arts organisation in Manchester and we've picked up that there's uh, quite a lot lack, lack of opportunities for some young women in Longsight so we're hoping to persuade people to let us run one here. I actually think this is a really good way of, of distributing money in local communities because we've got around 200 residents from the Longsight area at the event today and they, we've done um, 24 presentations I think from different groups and people have been able to pitch their ideas, what they want for their local area and now everybody's getting the opportunity to vote for the projects that they think are best so it's power in the hands of residents, them deciding where they want mo local money to be spent. Uh, what we wanted was money for funding for art materials. Uh, we were successful and we've got £3,000, which is what we bid for today. We are absolutely delighted, actually. And what was, I think, the highlight of the day has been not just getting the £3,000, which is fantastic, but seeing all the brilliant things that are going on in Longsight, actually. But it's, there's so many different things going on. And we've had an opportunity to meet loads of different people today that will be working with us, hopefully, going forward. I think this is really valuable in our engagement opportunities with the local community. I think we need things like this and events like this where we can meet, understand the issues that matter to the local community, work with them and find ways of solving problems that matter to them. And if we can do that, that's going to make Longsight a better place. Our organisation has been based in Longsight for over 20 years now, so being part of the community we wanted to try for this money, which is much needed for our organisation. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's been the most amazing afternoon with so many different groups represented here in Longsight. And it's wonderful that so many groups have been awarded with some money to help them progress the activities that they want to do in this community. Everyone's gone away happy, opportunities for all the groups to get to know each other and work together and to make Longsight a really happy, safe place to live. Hopefully Longsight will feel empowered actually by people, the community choosing what's going to make a difference to their people and their community. Participatory budgeting was actually scary initially because you feel a bit out of control. Once we did our pitch we felt a bit better. Participatory budgeting has been a fantastic opportunity for this community. The people have been able to decide for themselves how they want the money spent and which areas they want the money to be focused in. And I think it's an amazing thing that the community can decide uh, how they want to see things progress uh, for the future. We would definitely want to do an event like this again. Yay! Yay!